Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 903 of Logo History. For this episode, we're going to look at Banco de Brasilia and the Beatles studio album discography. First, we'll start with Banco de Brasilia. Here's the short bio of this you don't know what Banco de Brasilia is. It is a Brazilian bank that was founded in 1983. Their headquarters are in Brasilia, Brazil. Its key person is Paulo Henrique Bezerra Arcosta, chairman and CEO. They currently have 3,280 employees. Their website is www.brb.com.br. Okay, so this is Banco de Brasilia. Uh, since this is all in Portuguese, I'm going to translate this to English. A new way to go to your bank. Discover the new BRB website. Quickly reformulate easy, simpler, and more than ever. A new experience for our customers. Wow, that was fast talk. Uh, and this is all in Portuguese. I'm not going to read that. Wait. That's it? That's it? Wow. BRB anniversary 54 years. Access our page and check the special conditions we have prepared for the month of September. Supera DF. Supera DF is a program to help people, both physical and legal, to overcome the difficulties and challenges the moment demands. Property Sell. At BRB, you can purchase your property with different rates and conditions. Alright, let's just go back to this episode, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1966 and 1968, there is a black shape with white shapes inside of it. It is surrounded by five short lines and five long lines. Below this, there are the words Banco Regional de Brasilia SA in black text. 1968 to 1980, the logo is inside this white rectangle with black outline. Next to the logo, there are the words Banco Regional de Brasilia SA stacked together and in black text. 1978 to 1980, pretty much the same as the 1966 logo, but slightly brighter. 1980 to 1986, there are the letters BRB in white text with black drop shadow, and it's inside this white rectangle. Below it, there are the words Banco Regional de Brasilia SA in black text. 1986 to 1997, there are the letters BRB in black text, and it's surrounded by two black short wavy lines. Below the letters, there are the words Banco de Brasilia SA in white text. 1997 to 1999, there is a red parallelogram with the words Banco de Brasilia in white text inside of it. Next to that, there are the letters BRB in red text. 1999 to 2006, same as last time, but it's blue instead of red. In addition, the text font changed. 2006 to 2009, there are the letters BRB in blue text. Below those letters, there are the words Banco de Brasilia stacked together and in white text and it's inside this blue parallelogram. Here's their 40th anniversary variant. 2009 to the present, there's a white line in front of the short line that divides one shape into two shapes, one light blue and one dark blue. Next to the shape, there are the letters BRB in dark blue. Below all of this, there are the words Banco de Brasilia in dark blue text. And finally, we move on to the Beatles Studio Album Discography. Here's the short bio just so you don't know what the Beatles Studio Album Discography was. In this discography, the Beatles have released 12 studio albums, with Please Please Me being their first album and Let It Be being their final album. And now, without further ado, let's get started. March 1963 to November 1963, this is the album cover for their debut album Please Please Me, released on March 22, 1963. This is a picture of all four members of the Beatles. On the top of this cover art, there is a white stripe with the words Please Please Me, The Beatles, and Mono in black text. Next to the word Please, there is the logo for the Parlophone record label. Below that logo, there are the words The Beatles in yellow text. Below those words, there are the words Please Please Me stacked together and in red text. Below the words Please Me, there are the words with Love Me Do and 12 other songs stacked together and in light blue text. November 1963 to June 1964, this is the album cover for their second album with the Beatles, released on November 22, 1963. There is an image of all four members of the Beatles and they are inside a black background. Above the image, 
there are the words with the Beatles and black text. To the left of those words, there is the logo for the Parlophone record label. To the right of those words, there is the word mono in black text. June 1964 to December 1964, this is the album cover for their third album A Hard Day's Night, released on June 26, 1964. There are 20 pictures of the members of the Beatles and they are inside a blue background. Above the pictures, there are the words A Hard Day's Night in red text. There is a white stripe on the top of this cover art. Inside it, there are the words The Beatles in mono in black text. Next to the word that, there is the logo for the Parlophone record label. December 1964 to August 1965, this is the album cover for their fourth album Beatles for Sale, released on December 4, 1964. This is just a picture of the Beatles. On the top left corner of this cover art, there are the logos for Parlophone and EMI and they are inside two squares. Next to the second square, there are the words Beatles for sale stacked together and in black text. On the top right corner of this cover art, there is the word stereo in white text with black outline. August 1965 to December 1965, this is the album cover for their fifth album Help, released on August 13, 1965. There is a picture of all four Beatles members standing in a row and wearing blue jackets, with their arms positioned as if to spell out a word and flag semaphore. On the top of this cover art, there are the words The Beatles and black text and they are surrounded by the Parlophone logo, the EMI logo, and the word mono in white text with black outline. Below the two record label logos, there is the word help in white text with red outline. December 1965 to 1966, this is the album cover for their sixth album Rubber Soul, released on December 6, 1965. There is a photo of all four Beatles members standing in front of a bush or forest background. On the top left corner of this cover art, there are the words Rubber Soul stacked together and in dark orange text. 1966 to 1967, this is the album cover for their seventh album Revolver, released on August 8, 1966. There are various images and drawings of all four Beatles members. On the bottom of this cover art, there is the word Revolver in black text. 1967 to 1968, this is the album cover for their eighth album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, released on May 26, 1967. There are all four members of the Beatles, holding marching band instruments and wearing colorful uniforms while standing near a grave covered with flowers that spell Beatles. Standing behind the band are several dozen famous people. On the kick drum, there are the words Sgt. Peppers in yellow text with red outline, Lonely Hearts in tan texture and it's surrounded by some yellow squiggly shapes, and club band in yellow text with red outline. January 1969 to September 1969, this is the album cover for their 10th album Yellow Submarine, released on January 13, 1969. This is a colorful cartoon-style drawing of the Beatles and other characters from the Yellow Submarine film. On the hilltop, there are the words The Beatles in Yellow Submarine and yellow text with orange drop shadow. Below the word Submarine, there are the words Nothing is Real in green text. September 1969 to 1970, this is the album cover for their 11th album Abbey Road, released on September 26, 1969. The cover of Abbey Road has no printed words. It is a photo of the Beatles, inside view, crossing the street in single file. 1970, this is the album cover for their 12th and final album Let It Be, released on May 8, 1970. This is a black cover with four square photos of the band members' faces. Above the photos, there are the words let it be in white text. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History Now. See you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 904, Amber Tell and the Toto Studio Album Discography. 
Also, be sure to like the video, share this with your friends, and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell so you never miss another video from me as we're on the road to 5,000 subs. Bye for now.